Online dating makes it easy to connect with people that you might never have met in person. It's a great way to connect. But if you've tried online dating without success, it's probably because you are unknowingly committing one of these five common online dating mistakes. The good news is they can easily be avoided, so you can finally find your last first date. Here are those five common online dating mistakes. Number one, posting a profile that is not unique to you. If you are dating online and you see so many profiles that sound the same, it's because they are. They are cliched, they are filled with stuff that means nothing because it is not unique. And so when you write a profile, write about stuff that's specifically unique to you. You are not trying to attract everyone. You're trying to attract somebody who would be attracted to you and to your uniqueness and the things that you love and the things that you do and the things that you've overcome. So write about your quirkiness, write about the things that you find funny, the books that you read, the things that you love to do. Number two, using photos that don't represent you well. If you've ever seen a profile that has a representation of photos that are from 20 years ago and from five years ago and from people who had facial hair and no, no facial hair, people who've had blonde hair, brown hair, gray hair, this is confusing, right? So if you are using photos that actually don't show you at your best, and I, I actually have seen women post photos that are a little blurry or far away. Even though they're doing something they love, it's so far away you can barely see them. And so your photos are the first thing that somebody is going to see. And it's really important that you smile, that you wear color, color that looks good on you. Red has been known to attract, but if you don't look at them red, try maroon, eggplant, something that's color because most people are wearing black in their photos and against a background that's interesting with earrings that are interesting something that shows what you love doing i have a client who loves animals and so many of her photos have animals in them choose photos that represent who you are and tell a story so somebody can write to you and talk about your photo number three not making the first move if you are a woman you have been told men should chase, women should be pursued, and I disagree. If you do not make the first move in online dating, you are going to miss all the chances you don't take. You will get whatever falls into your net, and it's usually not the best pick of the crop. So make that first move. Write an email, a message that is intriguing, that is interesting, and most people don't know how to do that. That's something I teach. So make that first move. All you're doing is showing interest. You are not asking them out. You are not saying anything aggressive. You are showing a man that you are interested and you will get much more success by making that first move. Number four, not ending conversations that don't go anywhere. We tend to have all of these messages in the inbox that don't go anywhere. And I, when I'm helping a client and I see endless messages with no date, no phone call, nothing going anywhere, you got to end it. You got to end it so that you can move on and find somebody who is interested in meeting, in talking, in connecting, because it's just online connection. It's not a date until it is a date. And number five, choosing the wrong dating apps or sites and giving up too soon. So we often will choose the wrong site or app. It doesn't go anywhere. We feel like we've exhausted every person on that site or it's a dating app where people are swiping and swiping and not going anywhere. So get off the site, try something else, and don't give up too soon. If you choose the wrong dating app or site and you say online dating doesn't work, it is not true. Online dating does work, it is convenient, and in many cases, it's free. It's a wonderful tool for meeting people, especially if you're a busy professional or you live in a town where you don't get out and meet people on a regular basis. But many people forget that there are skills 
involved in online dating. And that's why so many people make online dating mistakes that can be detrimental to their love life. If you fix those mistakes, you will improve your chance of finding somebody special. And if you have been making these mistakes or other mistakes, or you haven't had online dating success, I invite you to register now for my four week online dating boot camp. It's called Find Love Online After 40, and you can join now by clicking the link below. This program is for you if you're frustrated with online dating, if you've been dating online with no success, if you crave intimacy but can't seem to find the right partner, and if you are ready to learn my proven method for finding love online. 